Can a peptide increase your athletic performance? Currently, I take BPC-157, also MK677, and I've had great results on both sides of the spectrum for both of those peptides. If this peptide is similar to the other peptides in effectiveness, I have zero doubt that this is going to give you some great benefits. However, we need different verbiage when it comes to athleticism and fitness. Whether it was the mind pumps verbiage, or if it was the articles verbiage, or the creator of the actual peptides verbiage, it needs to change. Because the only problem that I have is making a statement saying a peptide, and this is a quote, can increase athletic performance, that's a gray area. Increasing athletic performance is not solely based off of increased fat oxidation and increased glucose uptake. And athletic performance is not solely dependent upon an increase in fat oxidation and an increase in glucose uptake. Could those factors help an athlete that already has the genetics, he already has the environment, he can jump as high as possible, he can sprint very fast, he can lift heavy weights, he has great neuromuscular efficiency. Yes, it can help, but is not a direct correlation to increased athletic performance. What's the athlete? What's the sport? What creates success in that sport? The major point I'm trying to get across here is that increased fat oxidation and increased glucose uptake do not make you a better athlete. Those are two factors that contribute to an athlete's overall performance, but they do not increase athleticism. And the reason being, athleticism is super wide-ranging. What's your reaction time? How's your neuromuscular efficiency? Can you sprint? Can you change directions? Can you produce and reduce force? Those are just a couple things that actually make a great athlete. So having said all this, am I going to try this peptide? Probably. But I think we just need to change the verbiage because exercise or fitness is not the same thing as athleticism. And in the culture of TikTok and Instagram influencers and fitness influencers, we are making a one-to-one -one correlation between fitness and athleticism, which is so far from the truth. Just because you can lap pull down 350 pounds, brother, does not mean you can try to make a tackle on old Ladanian Tomlinson. Because the last time I checked, when you're on the football field, nobody cares how much you can squat. Nobody cares how much you can curl. Can you make the tackle or not? That is athletic performance, and a peptide is not going to do that for you.